Okay, sorry that cut out. We're still in the enemy phase. They've shot down Marina, but that's about the only thing that's changed. <clears throat> so, still trying to destroy the Valkov. Right, Marina's been shot down by this sniper. Not a big deal. Um, but we're going to try and end it this round. So, order. Penetration. This is an order. Aim for where their protection is weakest. You sure? Yeah. Perfect. Keep doing that. Give me double tank damage or something too. I could use the armor boost. There we go. Alright, time for the engineer to show his stuff. And then, with Rosie's help, we're hopefully going to be able to shoot this. But it doesn't look like Rosie cares. Okay, that's fine. But how dare you go after my sniper! How dare you! Alright, here's where I'm going to showboat a little, just because. Uh, let's go ahead and save. We already know we're going to win. At least that's the idea. But a uh, certain sniper friend over here needs to learn a lesson. Hey, uh, you son of a bitch. You're gonna bite it right here. Nice work. Keep taking them down. <sighs> Much better. It's for hurting my sniper. How dare you! Destroyed. Repeat, enemy dreadnought destroyed. Whew. Another award. Again, I don't know why it says medal. It used to say award and then medal, depending on which one was which. And now they just say medal, so I don't know what changed, but okay. Okay, 
Let's find the engine and kill it. That would be most inconvenient. Maximilian. Show yourself! engineers of the Empire shed both blood and tears to forge this Valkyrian shield and spear. As you will observe, their powers exceed even the originals. Stop this! Haven't enough men died? Why are you doing this? Why we fight for our dream? Do you not think that reason enough? So many have died for less. Besides, we must. Grateful vengeance must be meted out. What is this? We were born an imperial prince. But our mother was of low station. For this our father shunned us. The other heirs saw us as a threat to their ascension. They bombed our train when we were but a child. Though we survived by some cruel miracle, the fates were not so kind to mother and the rest. On that day we swore an oath. We would take the Empire, and the Emperor's throne for our own. So, uh, yeah, in case you were wondering why this war was started with Rangries, that was it, mostly. It's actually very sad that that is what caused an entire war that caused... I don't know, what, hundreds, thousands of people to die at this point? It's really dumb. It really is. But that's how this works out most of the time. So uh, let's go to Maximilian's vision. talking about the Valkyrie's power. The time of wars waged by men wielding powder and steel is fated to end ere long. The new age will be shaped by emperors, not men. Yes, he who wields the destructive power of the Valkyra grips the very reins of history. Peasants, let us end this! We shall never stop, not while we draw breath! Okay, before we go to the final showdown, back to headquarters real quick, see if anything's changed. The answer is probably no, but we're going to look anyway. R&D first. Logan, bro! I know, Leon. I'm great. Anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Nope. <gasps> Yay! We've got new weapons! This one's perfect! 35 shot. Well, that's just a steal. All done, bro! No new lances. Sniper rifles. Woohoo! Look at that power! Look at that range! Oh! Of course, grenades are done. Armor? Anything new? I think we're all maxed out on that. Okay. Probably the more important ones here. Ah! Reinforced body three and reinforced armor. Three. Only one can be equipped at a time. Changing equipment means scrapping the previous equipment. Reverting it later will require the R&D fee to be paid again in full. To avoid unnecessary research fee expenditures. Okay, so it's either more HP, more defense, 
or farther range? And to be honest, the answer here should be very obvious. So we're going to go with reinforced body. Just because. Thank you. So yeah, now we're at uh, level 3 tank. And these things are costing me a fortune. Um, can I make that work? Well, we're going to try. Uh, so first things first. 320. Right now... It goes up to quite a considerable amount. Okay. We're going to figure this out. Hold on. This, unfortunately, can't exist. This will be fine. down Move this over bam okay so that's all been redone the specs are different but uh, we definitely want that critical defense upgrade okay attack support That's a 4 by 2 but we can't put it on with that plate on there, so let's leave it alone. same size so might as well bam much better nothing to change there come back let's take a look at the award see if I got anything worth mentioning Thank you, Your Highness. Is it a medal or is it guns? Called it. Mags M30R.
May your allegiance to Gaia stand firm evermore. I really wish you'd just get rid of that hat at this point. Hello again, son. I'm sorry. Old man! Okay. Probably nothing new here, but we'll take a look anyway. Nope, don't talk. Don't say a word. Alright, that's done. Nope. Yep. Alright. No new rifles. Rosie's still got rum. The mag's 30, mag's 30, mag's 20. Range is bad. Yep. Edie, you get it. It's all yours, girl. Nah, you don't get anything. Marina, did we get a shiny new sniper rifle? We did! Look at it! Oh my god! Ah, ha, 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 ha. It makes me so happy. Range 1800. Range 1800. Perfect. You had 3R. Perfect. Okay. Back to the book. Sorry that took some time, but uh, yeah, we want to make sure that we go into this as prepared as possible. At all times. Ugh, one second. Here are your final orders. The time has finally come to settle things with Maximilian. I assume he's capable of neutralizing any attack you send his way. The same as the other Valkyrie we've seen. That said, Maximilian's Valkyrian powers are the result of some device. They're artificial. I'm certain he will have a weak point somewhere on that deck. Find it, then lob every bullet and bomb you've got at it. Your objective is to defeat Maximilian once and for all. Take that maniac out and put an end to this war, Sevens. And while that may not stop, or while it may not stop bullets, I hope you won't forget that you go with the entire nation's hope for peace. Maximilian is defeated as the victory condition. Welkin dies. The enemy occupies Galliot's base camp, or 20 turns pass. Again, very possible, except for the 20 turns pass. Okay.
Then Alicia, we're gonna put right here. I feel like we need an engineer though. set to begin. Let's take Dahlia back with our own hands, Sevens! This is our final operation! Let's end this war! Squad Seven, move out! Up on the Marmota's deck, eh? Nice spot for a showdown. It's just a shame we got no audience. My shamrock's chomping at the bit for a piece of this action. The Edelweiss is also all ready to go, sir. We're ready for your orders, Welkin. Okay. Let's get started, Sevens. Our target is the enemy commander, Maximilian himself. All right, armored tower, armored tower, and tower. And then another tower, way back there. As you can see, there's an energy line going from the tower to Maximilian. And, uh, yeah, very important. So, we're going to save right off the bat. Oh boy. Get ready. Edie did it. That's what you get. Thank you, girl. You're the best. Alright, Marina, it's up to you, girlfriend. Ultimate accuracy. Yeah! Yeah, that's it, girly. Woo! You're the fucking best. I love you. Ah! Oh, so good. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams indeed. Suck it. I'm fighting for a, that's a new ability the power of love I haven't actually ever seen that I don't think
managed to connect. So he was using the towers to induce an artificial Valkyria state. All right, everybody. Keep your sights trained on those energy towers. Thank you though. Perfectly fine. Okay. Oh, hold on just a minute. Ouch.
Alright, now here's where things get hard. time Jan do it Die for me, sweetie. got it sorry honey I'm impressed but not surprised Ultimate accuracy, though. Oof. It's the best. Sweet dreams. Okay.
always fires me up. I didn't mess this up. Let's do this thing. But it looks like I probably did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to reload. I'm sorry. Not what I wanted to do. Try this again. Well, I'm gonna have to reload anyway. Jan missed! Not good, Jan. Not good at all. You got it, Han. Feel my muscles. Yeah. It's too dangerous to approach from Sorry, the honey. Good work. Keep it up. I got it. All right. Too far. No, oh, this is going swimmingly. Hmm. You sure? I just want to get this over with as well, people. I'm almost there. I'll just do what I did before. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Sweet dreams. Okay, this needs to stop where it aims me back at Marina freaking bass backwards. I really want her piercing ability to activate, but 
I know I probably won't. See, I needed that before. Sweet dreams. Just keep it up. All right, time for stupid move number one. Heavy tank! Heavy tank! I hope I can do this. I'm on. Asara, this number's for you. Look at that accuracy. He's probably gonna die. I hope not. You 
did it again. Ow. Oh, Jeebus. Nothing's charging him this time, right? Oh, shit. Ugh. <sighs> uh... Jan. No, Jan. I've got to win it this turn. Because this dude is a son of a bitch. And it takes me six freaking tries to get the, rid of these towers. Please end it. Wow, really? Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. No, okay. See, I'm... No, no, no. We can't do this. This is not how this is going to go. Turn three just annihilated me. You got it, hon. Hit, please. Nope, that's a fail. Reload again. Should work out hopefully. Okay. One last thing the sniper has to do. Shamrock's in the right position. <sighs> Catherine shot the tower. I'm not done yet. I love her accent. British and all. Okay, so we're at the optimal time here. We're gonna save here. All we need is Jan to make this friggin' hit. The Edelweiss is here or not, doesn't really matter. Suck it. Can I give her a double attack boost? Not really.
I don't think penetration really works here. Rosie, make sure this works, please! Ain't no stopping me! Just try dodging me! That's so much better! Yes! Damn you! Dogs of Gallia! It's time to surrender, Maximilian. Your war is over! <laughs> surrender, you say? I think you forget, me Valkyra. Can give our lives to fuel a blazing hot inferno of destruction. Don't do this. It doesn't have to end like this. It seems our dreams are not to be. Well then, join us. Let Galia fall to ash. Has it stopped? My guess is it's because I killed the power supply. Folio, you made it! I snuck out in time to hitch a ride on this monster. I'm sorry it took me so long to stop the engine. No matter my reasons, I was wrong to have betrayed you. Now, it's time that I paid for what I have done. Let go! Let us go now! Look at the two of us, thinking power could save us. Now it's our cue to leave the stage. Farewell, Welkin, Alicia. Best of luck.
Damn it! The boss and the little missus are still in there! Hey, boss! Alicia! You two okay? Logan, you're all right? Yeah, except for that. Our way is blocked off. a lost cause. Alicia, let's find a way up. Right. Lead on. I'm not afraid when I'm with you. Ever. Now let's go. Thanks. Right. Let's move. Alright. Escape. Finale. Shadow of the Valkyrie. Let's take a look. Sara, KC and myself, well, everyone in the squad really came by to pitch in a hand. It was Isara's dream, you know? So, uh, it wasn't hard finding help. I don't suppose it was. Isara, you'll always live inside us. The dreams you left that day, now they're all of ours. Rest in peace. So tell me, bro, how far are we going today? This baby could take us clear across the sea if we want. Back home. Back to a free country. Our friends are waiting. Take us to Ranbreeze. The 25th day of October, 1935. The death of Maximilian, commander of the Empire's invasion of Gallia, paved the way for truce between the two nations. After seven tumultuous months at war, Gallians everywhere looked forward to a time of hard-won peace. Squad 7 of the Gallian militia disbanded shortly after the conflict's conclusion. And its members began to move on, each following his or her own path. And here, at the end of their long struggle, I lay my pen to rest.
Upon retirement from the armed forces, Eleanor began and still manages a publishing outfit. Following her marriage to Largo, her holidays are spent helping on the farm in the shade of the straw. Blah, blah, blah. Leaving military service after the war, Largo reunited his hometown to restore the family farm. After offering Eleanor a bouquet large enough to fill an ox cart, a gold ring, and ten years worth of love, the two were finally married. The war's end marked the birth of a new star. Her hit song, A Love Passed On, became an anthem through the years of the Gallia's revival. She travels Europa in a constant tour, but returns home yearly to visit Yusara's grave. Zarga returned home to establish the Valzen Toy Factory to bring smiles to Gali's war orphans. The Enigma Box, a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle of 100 possible shapes, currently the hottest toy on the market. After returning to school to get his master's degree, Kreese delved into passionate research in the field of aeronautic engineering. His 
graduate thesis has become the cornerstone of contemporary thought on flight. A speed demon since the day he piloted the SARS airplane, Leon subsequently became a racer by trade. He hasn't slowed ever once ever taking his gold and the first abandoned cars yeah, okay. <laughs> Trying to go fast. After the war's end, she publicly finished her heritage, shocking the masses. Her candor won the support of most Gallians, however, she now leads Gallia in both name and fact and single and Yeah, yeah, okay. Again, I you can pause to read it all, but there's a lot of information going on. And it will continue to do so. Here we go. Hang on to your butts. for my top secret hunting spot. Yippee! Thank <laughs> you! We'll see you tomorrow! Yep. Go right along home now. Welcome, Gunther. After the war, he returned to his studies. Many had thought the Galleon hero would rise to further fame, but Welkin had something else in mind. He returned to Bruel, there to realize his long-held dream of becoming a teacher. On weekends, he's often seen taking his students out on nature hikes. His is a peaceful civilian life, and he would have it no other way. Oh boy. Thank you for choosing Alicia's. How's business today? Hey! Hey you! What a surprise! Guess what? So I started selling the smoked cheese bread today and everybody loves it! Of course! Told you that bread was great! Guess everyone in town agrees with me! Yeah! <laughs> Alicia Gunther Trading in her rifle for a rolling pin, Alicia trained around the clock to pursue her dream. After many long months, she received her national certification as Baker. On the same day, she married her sweetheart, Welkin Gunther. Together, the two opened Alicia's Bakery. It didn't take long for word to spread about her delicious creations. And now, even visitors from far away make a point of stopping to sample her fresh baked bread. How about you? How are your classes today? Ah, you know, those kids never seem to run out of questions. <laughs> you know, they're amazing. Their curiosity's endless. That's so. Then you're a kid, too. You're as incurably curious as any one of them. <laughs> Speaking of kids, how's Isara been today? been a good girl? Yep. I was real good. I was just helping Mama make some bread. I needed the dough all by myself. Oh, I wish
wish you could have tasted the bread that dough made. Our customer said it was the best ever. Hey, Hisara, that's really great. All right, you show me how and I'll help, okay? Yay! Come on, Papa, I'll teach you. On the galley in front. The end. Irene Kohler. Okay. <sighs> now I would stop it there. But uh, let's go ahead and load the save data here and see what happens. We can go ahead and skip. We're starting a new game with cleared save game. You can enjoy the game again with your unit levels and stats intact. Beginning the second playthrough, the story is unlocked by chapter instead of by episode, allowing for a quickened pace. Story battles can also be played multiple times, so keep at it until you've earned an A ranking in every battle in the war. Statistics tab is now available. Here you can view your rankings and the shortest turn count for each of the battles you've fought so far. Pressing the Y button to open the menu, choose statistics from the stab tab select will see your battle history. Page 1 contains the plot battle information. Page 2 contains the ranking data from the skirmish battles. There we go. About music. The music tab, you can listen to the tracks from the soundtrack throughout the game. Select music from the tab select with the Y button to see the list of songs. You can now listen to individual tracks or play the entire soundtrack in order. Pick a tune, kick back, and enjoy. Got a new achievement, Savior of Gallia, a skirmish battle's been added, and the hard difficulty's been added. <laughs> well, we're really fucked. Let's go to headquarters real quick. Again, I don't want to go too far into it today. We did just finish the plot, and that was what my goal was. Um, but let's go to the audience hall and get our awards. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. Step forward. I will. In honor of your manifold accomplishments, you are hereby awarded this honor. Highness, it's an honor. Indeed. Savior of Gali awarded. Could it be more guns? Thank you, Your Highness. It is. It's more guns. Galleon S20R. Sure, I'll take a sniper rifle, why not? Oh, look at that lance. Look at that lance. It's the best. May your allegiance to Gallia stand firm evermore. So I won't equip anybody right now. Let's go to Castle Front. Again, we're just getting the stuff that we might have missed. Everything out of the way. Uh, nothing new. Come. 
And she's not offering to sell any more of the side story either, so that's a little interesting. Let's go to the War Cemetery. I'll teach you. Use it to request reconnaissance. The order alone won't do much good, though. It takes a man like your father. He won battles with this order. Wow. Okay, an elite order. What? You were... You knew my father? I'd wager everyone in Galia knows him. Though I'll admit, I knew him better than most. Back in the last war, I fought alongside him. That was when he taught me this order. You learned it from one of my dad's orders. He could listen to his soldiers' reports and see a perfect bird's eye view of the field. Some people called me a brilliant commander, but he was like the sun to my moon. Ultimately, I was never able to make this order work the way he did. Now I'd say it's time that Belgian's order was returned to its rightful owner. You better believe it. Very good. I hope my orders can assist you in saving the nation. Truly astounding, Welkin. You've mastered every order in my repertoire. All the orders have been learned. No. Comparison with me now rings hollow. You belong in a class with your father. I only wish that were so, sir. Should fate hand us defeat, still we cannot stay our march. What? Those are your father's words. He was giving a speech to rouse his soldiers before combat. Should fate hand us defeat, still we cannot stay our march. What is neither fate nor glory for which we fight? but for the freedom to exist. Even if death seems imminent, one must fight for their freedom to live. And sure enough, those words sparked a fire in those soldiers that saw them through the day. To be honest with you, I was madly jealous. I had no idea a few words could do so much. It also taught me the weight of each word that does or doesn't leave one's mouth. Orders are a prime example, Welkin. You'd do well to remember that out there. Yes, sir. All right. Go on. Galia's waiting for you to shape it with these old men's orders. Pull this nation back from the brink, son. Whew. All right, so a lot of plot line there. In case anybody didn't know that existed, that's what happens when you learn all the orders. I wish I could say it was tied to an achievement, but no, it's not, sadly. Let's take a look at the command room. Is anybody new? Hello. Oh, and there have been some new recruits. You should take a look at the master list. There we go. Musad Mayfield. Look at this. Look at this ugly dude. <laughs> Alright. Audrey. Lancer Elite. Good bloody camaraderie. So two units. That's it. But that's kind of funny. <laughs> Just big old dude. Oh, and Squad 7 doesn't have any units in it yet. Okay. Interesting. Well, we'll fix that later. We don't have to add them right now. Come. Uh, let's go to the training field. Use some of that XP, because... We don't need it for orders. Troopers, scouts for sure. Snipers. Fight them! Good work! Looks like that session beat a new potential!
potential out of the scouts. Just the scouts? Damn. Oh well. Okay, R&D. Let's finish this up too. A again, I know it's a lot of stuff, but I want to try and get it all out of the way. So that when and if I come back to this, which is probable, we don't have to worry about it anymore. M20. Sniper rifles are done. Flamethrowers are done. Grenades are done. Armor's done. Armor done. So, once we get everything out of the way for the tanks, and I think it's done for the Edelweiss, except for the extraneous parts, we can focus on the other weapons. And that's just for an achievement. Once we have everything bought, we don't have to worry about this anymore. It's all set for you, bro. Might as well get these out of the way. One shamrock done. Nope. Don't care about the tread HP or defense. But we're done with the shamrock. We don't have to upgrade any more shit for it. It's all done. Bam, everything filled. Alright, we're gonna leave this for now. Again, these are all gonna be tied in for later things if I decide to go A ranking everything. Let's go back to the War Cemetery, see what he says. It'll probably be nothing, but we'll take a look. I'm afraid there's nothing left of use to you in this addled brain of mine. You're already on par with your father. Every bit the hero Belgian was. Go on, Welkin. Galia needs you. Pull this nation back from the brink. Okay. So that's it. Old man's done. <sighs> yes. One last thing. Uh, Faldia joined the Imperial Commander Maximilian in death aboard the exploding Marmota. Does she have her alternative? No, she doesn't. Which is sad. Reminded of her pride and duty as ruler, through her interactions with Walken, she elected to turn and face her people with selfless candor and sincerity. As part of the plot for control of Gallia, Borg served to spy for the Empire as the wages of his, or as the wages of his treachery. Commander Maximilian had Borg executed. So Borg is dead. Important note, Borg is dead. Uh, after evacuating, she moved to the capital with her family. Concern for Welkin and Asara eventually drove her to take up work at the militia mess hall. Just in case she wanted to know what happened to Martha. Martha's baby! When asked to be a child godfather, Welkin offered wishes that he grow as tall and strong as a Gallian willow, naming the child after the, the genus Salix. Martha's husband, a landscaper, planted a Gallian willow and ruled to commemorate their son's birth. Both the tree and child are now growing by leaps and bounds. Okay. Daughter of Welkin and Alicia, named for Welkin's late sister. Every bit Welkin's daughter, she loved nature since birth. She once, she, she once gave Alicia a rare grass centipede as a present. The gift literally bowled her mother over. Always quick to mimic her mother, Asara is almost always seen at the ma in the matching uniform Alicia made for her, doing her best to help out at the bakery.
Let's see. He set up together with his friends to find life in the sky he dreamed of since he was a young boy. His parting words were, I'm off to be a real bird. Okay. I guess these are people with unlocked potentials. Left the militia for parts unknown on his new adventure. Nalgalian has seen him ever since he boarded the ship at a sleepy quay shrouded in a morning fog. So Vice disappeared. Edie! Upon hearing of Rosie's see me, she tried to become an even bigger star, only to find she was tone deaf. She is now training to become a real actress. She is definitely tone deaf. Stayed on after the war to train new recruits with the drill instructor. Even stricter than he, soldiers now whisper the name Sadistic, Sadistic Jane with reverence. Despite heavy opposition with her family, she used personal funds to build a shelter for those injured in the war where she continues to work today. Juno returned to school to continue her studies in microbiology. She eventually discovered a microbe with a medical uses, naming it after a certain European World War II hero. <laughs> okay. Trading a blast suit for an apron, Jan founded a kindergarten in his hometown where he devoted his life to the local kids as their beloved Beloved Uncle Jay. <laughs> okay. A long chain of turf battles ultimately saw him reigning at the peak of Galia's underworld and forces you know, his own code of honor in concert with the government. Again, these are units that were part of my team when the game ended, so they have their own backstories put in here. Back at home, he was shocked to find that his grisly countenance kept his customers at bay. He still hasn't quite over it yet. <laughs> That's probably the best thing that could have happened to him. After hearing Welkin's exploits, she traveled to the capital with stars in her eyes. She was a tendency to get swept up in trends. Okay. Herbert. The completely accidental discovery of Magnite Load made him an overnight millionaire. He couldn't have been bothered to spend it, so he gave it to his brother. <laughs> He's like, nah, I don't wanna. <laughs> he remained a militia, ignoring concerns of those around him. His grace, while cutting across th the field, smile on his face has been likened to a swan's. Well, Homer stained in. Though news of Alicia's marriage struck her hard. Okay, so wait a minute. Is it a she or a he? I keep. I don't know. I, I'm guessing it's a she now. I don't know. She soon awoke in newfound appreciation of Roshi's untamed allure and began following her around instead. So now Dallas is following Rosie. Citing he was having a doctor in order to cure his brother, he began studying a furious pace. Thoughts of practicing surgery on real people gave him or have him spooked. Following her father's footsteps, she became a hunter, famed for never letting her prey escape. She now lives with a fox she found injured in the mountains. Marina, you're the best. You are the absolute best. Who needed their help, the triplets departed Galia together with their newfound friends. So, the medics kept medicking across the world. Revenge against the Empire died along with him, swallowed the flames of the falling Marmota. So, Empire no longer cares. Which is technically true. I can say why that's wrong, but uh, I won't go into it. Powerful Sarkson's natives return to Valkyrie, granted the city state. Oh boy, Marmota. Again, if you want to see these, you can pause it, but there's a lot of information here. A lot of information, a lot of it. Falkov. It was destroyed. And the biplane. Decorations. As you can see, there's a lot of medals we're still missing. 
Unfortunately, a lot of these I don't want to get. <laughs> Particularly, this one here. Splintered Horn, because I actually have to let somebody die in order for me to get it. And I would really have to hate them in order for me to want to do that. Okay, so... We have one, two, three, four that need A ranks. Five on the first page, okay? Five without A ranks. End of the Darks and Hunting. Oh wow, five in the entire story mode that are missing A ranks. Then, just a few in the free battles, Nagyar Plains, Windmill Plaza, all of those need to be defeated. Not looking forward to that. Music. And again, we could go here, play some music. Okay, so, we'll go back. Skirmishes. We have two new ones. That's fine. Alright, folks. That's it for now. Um, we're going to leave it at that for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the story mode. That's all we have to do. Um, it took up a lot of time today, so I'm just going to cut it off here. Uh, hopefully I don't have to cut this into two parts, but I very well might. If you like this, let me know. I'll come back to it later on and do some other things maybe. Maybe do the uh, battles over again, get A ranks. Um, but for right now, we're going to move on to a new project starting next week. Uh, nobody's in the chat right now, but uh, if they wanted to see it, I was going to show it off. But since there's nobody there, well, of course I'll give them time to respond. Okay, nobody's there. But if you're watching the videos, you'll see these coming up starting next week, which is June, um, what I have planned in store for you. So, until then, that's it. Bye-bye.